15. Wednesday was the last wrestling practice ever at Jefferson High School. Next year they'll have a new home. But this weekend, six of them will hopefully find a comfortable place at the XL Energy Center for the state tournament. Coach Tom Ellison is usually on the mat leading them, but today he left practice early for state coaches meetings. In his place, Section 8 AAA Assistant Coach of the Year, Alden Struken talks about the Cardinals' chances at state. You know, it seems like we've got a state champion or a state place winner right off the bat, and it's always, it's been tough. And, and this year our matchups, first round, seem a little bit more favorable for us, and we're excited about what our guys can do. You know, they're, they're peaking at the right time, and you know, the, the goal for all six of those guys is to come home with some hardware. So that's the, that's the big goal for all six of our guys. It's a tough team. With six people going last year, not as many, but it definitely feels good to have six guys going down there for sure. So. Senior Trent Piepenberger is one of those six guys. He needed to win a true second match at sections to make the tournament, but he knew what the prize was. I, I just went into it and I had been down to state earlier in the 10th grade and I thought to myself, I want to get back down there. And last year I missed it and this year was my last chance and nothing was going to stop me. Piepenberg is the only Alexandria senior competing this year. Blake Olhausen is a sophomore. Both have been to state before. They'll be joined by juniors Dylan Creasy at 120 pounds, Dustin New at 152 pounds, Mike Schluter at 182, and two-time state entrant and last year's second place winner, Justin Cumberbatch. Well, he's, he's tremendously strong and he's quick for his weight class. Um, you know, last year he wrestled 220, this year he's down to 195, you know, last year he was he was about 206 pounds wrestling 220, so he was an undersized 220 pounder and he was still able to take second in state. So we're real excited to see how he matches up against some of those premier 195 pounders this year. Justin says maintaining the 195 pound weight class has not been easy, but he feels good about where he's at. And looking at the brackets, his coaches and teammates feel good about his chances too. I think he's just real athletic where he's at right now, that he's He's got a lot of go and he's got some good technique and I think that helps him with everything. I'm real excited about our, the draws that we have. You know, Justin's, he's ranked number three in the state. Uh, the guys that are ranked number one and two are on the opposite side of the bracket. So I think he can make a, a pretty good run. I, you know, we don't want to underestimate anybody, but um, you know, those top two guys are on the opposite side of the bracket. So obviously that helps in his bracket particularly. But. You know, really anyone who comes out the hungriest and whoever wants it the most is going to end up being at the end of the day, getting their hand raised. So, you know, I also you know, keep that in mind too, just knowing that if I'm hungry and I just keep my goals in mind and just know that, you know, I, I worked hard enough to get where I am and, and I'm not gonna stop until I've given 100%. With the Cardinals wrestling wall of fame watching over him and 100 wins under his belt, Cumberbatch is working hard to bring the school its eighth state championship in its long history. But he says he's not the only one capable of delivering the goods this weekend. You know, we're not people that can be easily pushed over. If you go against an Alexandria kid, you definitely got some, something to worry about. You know, we're, we're never going to give up. We're going to give 100%, and it's not going to be an easy match for anyone. So definitely. Time will tell. Tough team. It always does. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joker Kowski.